Hello again. In the previous video, we learned about Jira. Now, we will create our first project. This is the Jira instance. You can find the issues you worked on, the issues or projects you have viewed, assigned to me issues, stored projects, boards, filters, dashboards. From this button, you can switch to um, your products on Jira you have access to. From this button, you can find your work assigned to you, recent boards, queues. Here you can find the projects you recent viewed, or you can view all projects you have access to. Create project, we will use it in this video. Filters. Um, we will talk later about filters and how it works in Jira. Dashboard. You can create a dashboard and build a report to track your issues or your employees' work. People. You can create a team or invite people to Jira from this button. Apps. Where you can add a new app and integrate it with your Jira instance. Here you can find help from Jira, like keyboard shortcuts, uh, contact support, ask the community, notification button. The settings of the Jira instance. And here you can find your profile setting. Manage account, profile, personal setting, and local. Let's start and create our first project in Jira. You can create the project from two ways. Go to projects, create project, or go to projects, view all project, create project. Let's start by using service management, customer service management, use template. Let's name the template for example i will create a project for an insurance company um, medical approval okay here choose a key which is unique i have never used before in my instance to start working with this project create project now the project is created successfully and I have access to it. In the upcoming videos, we will know more about the project and each tab. Let's create our first issue in this project. For example, create. Okay, I will choose medical approval. Issue type. New feature. Summary. Um, please. Approve my medicine. Description, please approve. Or I can write beer team. Please approve. Create. If I make a refresh. I can find the issue here. To access the issue, you can click on the key or the summary. This is the issue view. Here I can find the workflow I have to pass by. Here I can find the description of the ticket. Here I can find the comments, I can reply to the reporter or the customer from here, or add internal note, which will be seen only by my team. Here are the fields, and the request type you can find here. For example, uh, I, I didn't set up the request types yet, but we will set up later on. Here you can find the issue type of the ticket 
and the ticket number. Clear? Okay. Here you can find the queues. Let's go back. Here you can find the queues you are working on. For example, there are queue for all open tickets, a queue for assigned to me tickets, a queue for unassigned issues, bugs, uh, open support issues, feature suggestions. We will talk later on how to configure these queues. Uh, for example, I have here assigned to me zero, but if I open this ticket and assign it to me, to me. Refresh. Now, if I open the assign to me, I can find the ticket appeared here. I can store this queue if I am going to use this queue uh, many times. Here you can raise the request through the customer portal, and we will talk about the customer portal later on and how to configure it. Here is the knowledge base, reports, channels, invite team, customers. We will talk about each tab later on. Here I can add a shortcut, for example, for my um, website. Uh, for example, let's turn it website address um, https dot google dot com name google add. If the people press here, it will open Google directly. If you go to project setting. You can find the details of your project. You can select another avatar, rename the project, or even rename the key, but we will uh, discuss this more later on, how to rename it and move the issues if, um, if I created issues in this project. Let's select another avatar. Um, mm -hmm. For example, I'll select uh, this medicine. Okay, here I can write the description, the project lead, the default assignee of each issue, uh, but better to make it unassigned if you are working with team. Let's save the details. Here you can add people to access your project. Here you can know more about the features. The summary of your project. Issue types that are created in this project. Bug, new feature, support. We will customize uh, this issue type in the next video. Each request type and which issue type is linked to it. And we can create a new request type. And we will create in the upcoming videos. Forms, we will talk about forms later on. Here we can add the permissions, the languages, if I am using um, Jira from many countries, portal setting, we will talk about portal later on, email request where I can configure uh, to receive requests via email. Customer notification, the notifications the customer receive when he creates a request, when a comment added, a request resolved. We will talk about each notification later on. Here you can find the widget, and we will talk about widget also later on. SLAs, SLA is service level agreements where you can set time goals uh, for the tickets to be solved. Automations, where you can create an automation for the project, and we will talk about automations later on. Workflows, as I told you before, 
Each issue type should be linked to only one workflow. Screens and fields, we will talk about them later on. Versions, components, permissions, issue security. Uh, this was a quick uh, discussion about how to create project and each tab in the project. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on LinkedIn. Thank you.